So hi everyone, I'm Jo Chidley and I'm an optimist and an action orientated reuse systems innovator based here in Scotland. It only takes a movement of 3% of the population to create an unstoppable wave of change. But action needs to happen now. The time for talking a good game and aspirational targets for me is over. So what, what has this got to do with diversity? Well, let me do some scene setting. So one fire in east of Australia in 2019 added 2.5% to global greenhouse gas emissions. In Pakistan this year, 36% of the country was underwater. Is this what you want for your children? I have three young children and I'm not prepared to stand by and let this happen. To limit climate change to one and a half percent, every business needs to cut their scope one, two and three emissions by 8% every year. And that was starting last year. Where is your business on that journey? Do you know? Do you care? When at work, we seem to have a different persona of thinking about doing something for payment in return. And we leave the climate decisions to someone else in the organization, the sustainability manager, if you even have one. There is no such thing as being more sustainable. It's like pregnancy. You're either pregnant or you're not. In a report published in December 2020 in Nature, a team of scientists found that plastic alone is double the weight of all animals combined on the planet. Single-use plastic packaging for consumer goods is a $1 trillion annual business. It's a monoculture of plastic that is perfectly designed to be low-cost, efficient and profitable for business. 161 million tonnes of plastic is used and not reused every year. And sadly, that number is increasing, not decreasing. I describe plastic packaging as a monoculture. The word is most frequently used in agriculture, where it has already wrecked havoc. By growing just one crop species in a field, monocultures enable farmers to increase efficiencies while reducing costs. Sounds great, right? But like in all areas of life and society, a lack of diversity is not a good thing. But with diversity comes complication. And that's why a lot of businesses shy away from it, because complication adds costs. And that's less profit. This is why I created RE, which is a borrow anywhere, return anywhere, reuse anywhere, alternative to single use packaging. But we are not the only ones doing it, but we are very niche. It allows for the diversity of materials, but it also allows for the diversity within business practices and using that word diversity across all areas. It's a scalable whole system approach for refill and return on the go. So what you do is you use smart reusable packaging and you remove the barriers for retailers, brands and the end person, which is you and I, the consumers, who want to participate in the circular economy. Creating diversity in a man-made world takes courage, curiosity, candour and connectedness. And, and that's really where you have to put this competitive advantage aside. So the barriers to any circular FMCG packaging are difficult for any one single retailer or brand to solve because it requires them to become active collaborators, to be diverse in their thoughts and innovations. So the innovations that we've created to date in a diverse world are return stations, washing processes and facilities, reusable packaging formats that can be leased and tracked and enable big data analytics, but what this does is it creates this active collaboration across the supply chain, because as a business, we don't want to necessarily want to be bottle washers, but we have to create the diverse infrastructure to make reuse happen at scale. And we've already uh, worked with many people who are classed as competitors, from Unilever to Asda to Marks and Spencers, who have all agreed to share the same packaging. So our ambition really is to help to disrupt and thoughtfully disrupt the monoculture of plastic packaging through these global brands and retailers. 
Our heritage is creating diversity where there is none. So using our expertise with third party verification marks such as B Corp and Cradle to Cradle to help nudge and agitate where diversity needs to play. The impact of plastic on the environment is well documented and there is a growing body of evidence documenting the impact of plastic, microplastics and nanoplastics on human health. We know that recycling doesn't work. The latest estimates are that 4% of plastic is recycled or downcycled rather than being circular and designed for a circular economy. So how can the monoculture of plastic be tackled when it's part of the system that's perfectly designed over the 150 years to create profit and to turn a blind eye to health of the planet and its population, i.e. to ensure that there is no diversity? Innovation within business is constrained to deliver return on investment within its comfort zone, the status quo. It is not innovation. It is delivering something slightly different to create better profits in a similar way to what has worked before. It is innovation that is possible, not the innovation that is needed. So increasing diversity in packaging materials requires a paradigm shift that will take decades to pay back. And we need to squeeze that into a few years. And remember what scientists believe a child born today will experience in 30 years. The innovation that is needed is currently beyond the reach of any single organization due to first mover disadvantage. Share prices, bonuses are, are not linked to saving the planet or leading a whole system shift. The innovation that is needed today to co-create the new model includes an admission by retailers and brands that the short-term profitable monoculture model must change now to have any chance of avoiding species extinction, widespread disease, unlivable heat, ecosystem collapse, and cities menaced by rising seas will become painfully obvious before a child born today turns 30. We need a bilateral commitment to collaboration between stakeholders in the consumer packaged goods industry. But that also includes you, because irrespective of whether you work in a large organisation or a small organisation, you buy things that are packaged just like I do. Adoption of a cradle to cradle methodology to design packaging for not just end of use, but continual reuse means that there's no end of life. This means using a diverse range of materials, including glass, steel, aluminium, and also plastic as part of a well-designed closed loop reuse system. We need to understand these requirements and organizations are slowly realizing this. This is why we're already working with so many organizations on pilots and scale ups. So I still have hope. The crazy thing is that all the stakeholders we talk to know that reuse is the only answer, but their hands are tied to a linear model. Organisations are part of working groups and talk about collaboration, but it doesn't happen because it, competitive advantage and monoculture is the true language of business.